How's it going, everybody? On today's episode, we have a special episode. I got a line scale. I'm one of the cool kids now. If you don't know what a line scale is, basically all the cool kids have it. All the, my bigger YouTube uh, channel friends have one. And they're breaking things, and then they'll tell you at what force something breaks. So you can put this on one of those machines, those pulling machines, and break things, and it'll tell you how much you had to pull till something broke. But like, numbers are just like, conceptual man like they're just and if you're anything like me just pretty stupid someone, someone tells you a number it just goes bloop, bloop. I mean like have you ever like tasted a number two never mind don't answer that so anyway basically what I'm thinking is I create a new scale a scale of pain how much force actually hurts so I have a little scale here it may look similar to the scale you see at a hospital and uh, we'll take we'll, we'll, we'll make some forces and I'll tell you how much they they hurt and don't worry we have medical staff on standby today so uh, let's just set up some stuff and let's get uh let's make some force and, and uh, play around this thing a little bit and see how it works huh okay so what I've created here I'm trying to replicate a soft catch. I have my cordelette set up with a super munter and then it's just backed up with this knot here and I'm thinking I'm gonna take a fall and the friction should go through this super munter and act as a soft catch even though there's no belayer belaying me. So it should kind of act like a quasi uh, screamer where it should just kind of absorb the energy as I fall well we'll see what happens so let's turn this thing on I would like to apologize in advance if I do not use the scientific terms correctly I'd also like to apologize to my balls okay uh, we are at 1200 Hertz and we're in kilonewtons and we're in peak mode, which means I'm going to catch what my peak is, the peak force of this fall. So let me uh, put this over here. I'm already terrified. Lock this puppy up and hope I do not hit the ground. Okie dokie. I'm going to go up like this. <sighs> Okay, that was a zero on the scale of painful. That was actually extremely pleasant. And the force of that was two kilonewtons. I got two kilonewtons out of that little stretch things. Do not, this was experimental. I don't think you should put super munters into your anchor systems to absorb energy, but I actually like the way that worked. Let me show you what this says over here. I gotta get in this table like some kind of, okay. 2.11 kilonewtons. Let's see if we can increase the force. Okay, so now I'm clipping directly into my cordelette, which is a very stretchy material, but I've also tied a BFK and I've tied it fairly loosely because I imagine that the looseness will slow down the energy because it'll have to tighten up. So it should absorb something tightening up. If it was rock hard, solid, tight, then I think it would be a little bit more forceful. Okay, so let's see. Let's clear this bad boy. Do you have to hold this? Absolute zero mode activated. Okay. We are at, we're back to zero. This should be a little more forceful. Lock her up. Kick away the chair. Oh gosh. 2.20. That was also not so bad. I'm gonna have to, let's, let's just run that right back after the knot is already tightened. 
because science 220. Oh, damn. Three. But that also wasn't very unpleasant, besides the fact that my feet slammed against a chair. But besides that, I would give that... I would give that... I'd say a three wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. How, much, how many pounds of force is that? So that would be... 692 pounds. My body is absorbing that very well. It feels like I wouldn't mind doing that again. Let's just say that. Wouldn't mind, I would, do I want to do it again? No. Would I mind doing it again? No. If I had to do it again, I'd do it again. But, I mean, that felt like it was getting there. But, <laughs> okay. Okay, we are now going to enter the realm of Dyneema. My, if I, what everyone has ever told me in my entire life, this will feel just like falling on a steel cable. I'm not excited for this one. Because Dyneema doesn't stretch. Everything we've used so far has been very friendly and stretchy. So let's see what factor one fall is like on this Dyneema. First, first we're going to... Gonna reset this. Okay, still in kill it lens. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Wow! 3.68. A little bit more. A little bit. I definitely felt a little forceful, but also my toe kind of hit the ground. So I gotta move this thing out of the way. kind of caught myself in my foot. Let's give that another test for science. <sighs> 4.69. Still, eh, not too bad. Like, I think I've gotten hit a lot harder playing football, to be honest with you. Let's see what that is in, uh, in, in uh, pounds. That was 1,540, no, 1,054 pounds. So, not too bad. Not too bad. Kind of like taking a shot at tequila, really. All right, let's see what, what else we got here. Okay, so for my final test, the real deal. The chains directly through steel cable. Of course, it's going to the Dyneema whatever already, but, uh, what the hell? Okay, I'm not excited about this one at all. Oh my gosh, I can't hold on any longer. I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall, please, I don't wanna fall. <laughs> Actually, not as bad as before, 3.44. I think I must have hit the ground or something. That wasn't too bad either. Oh my gosh, still 344. 345, which is, uh, let's see what that is in pounds. Give me that. 774. I'm not able to break my record, but just for comparison's sake, micro nuts. Now, these will tell you what their minimum breaking strength should be at, but really the rock will probably break before these break, just so you know. What's the rock strength break at? And there's no little tags on the rock, unfortunately. This is two kilonewtons, so I should have been able to blow this thing out so far, which is pretty uh, funny. But as far as how much that hurt, Really not that bad. I never I never really hit something where it was like, oh, I'm not doing that again. So there you go. Your body could absorb a ton of energy. Um, I'm, I'm sure my harness is absorbing a lot. And let me know if I did that correctly. Maybe doing this wrong. It's this whole world of 
hurting myself is... <laughs> okay, I hope that answers some of your questions and demystified some of those numbers, made them more a little bit more tangible for you. I'm sure, I mean, uh, they were definitely tangible for me. Uh, typically, a climbing fall, a lead climbing fall is going to be something like two kilonewtons. The belayer is probably going to feel like 1.5 and the anchor is going to be like double that because it's got to absorb the energy of the belayer and the climber. So there's that. And you might have noticed, obviously, as the materials got less stretchy, the force went up. So if we give a softer catch, which would mean we slow down the fall at a slow, make it a slower rate, absorb the energy into the materials over time, then we get a lot less force, both in the anchor and in my back. So that should, that should, uh, I hope that teaches you something. If you like this, welcome to Beta Climbers. My name is Joshua Perry. You could join our Discord. We've got tons of uh, questions and answers and uh, fun over there. We have a whole meme section, which is always fun, and a crag dog section where we post our dogs. And uh, I sell t-shirts. So Joshua Perry, Climbing out of here. Oh, oh, I should change my shoes. Why am I wearing croc things? Because I may as well be comfortable if I'm going to be taking whippers.